Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you if, how to check to see if you have a dead battery or if your battery is on its way out. Uh, also, at the end of the video, I'm going to give you just some quick maintenance tips that you can do to make sure you can extend the life of your battery. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up so that way other people can see it's a great video. Also, subscribe to my channel so that way you can see my content in the future. Once you've subscribed, hit that little bell button so that way you'll get notified when new videos come out. If you're going to be going on a holiday or a long drive, the last thing you want is when you get to your destination, to turn your car off, then when you get to leave again, turn the car on, and all of a sudden your car doesn't start. And you figure out it's a dead battery. Well, these are some good things to check to see if you're going to have a dead battery before it happens. A couple of things you might notice when your battery's dying is if your engine's off and you put your headlights on, your headlights might be dim. When you go to crank your engine over, it's slow to crank. Uh, you might have a clicking sound when you go to turn it over. And also the age of the battery. You know, if you, most batteries only last four to five years. So, yeah, if, you, if you're getting to that sort of time, your battery's probably going to get to the end of its life. There's a couple of factors why batteries die. The main one is age. But the reason why age is an issue is because inside the battery, there's plates. And with those plates, they corrode over time. These plates store about 2 volts each, and there's 6 plates. So as the battery wears, these plates don't hold their voltage as well. Um, therefore, they don't hold their amps as well. And yeah, over time, they just degrade. So that's the reason why they won't hold their charge. One of the ways that you can increase the life of your battery is by making sure if you have a maintenance battery that you keep the cells topped up with distilled water. If you use normal tap water, there are properties inside that water like heavy metals and chlorine and all other kinds of things um, that corrode the battery faster internally and you won't get the design life out of the battery as you should. So one of the more accurate tests you can do to test if your battery is dying is a cold cranking amp test. If you've got the tool to be able to test cold cranking amps, this is the way to go. What a cold cranking amp test does is batteries are manufactured to the size of the vehicle. Vehicle specifications put out how many cold cranking amps it needs to turn the motor over. My vehicle has 800 cold cranking amps that it's required. And you want to get at least 80% of this to be able to turn your motor over uh, without having any issues. So you can do this test by putting a meter on. It will put a load on and it will give you a result of how many cold cranking amps are left in the battery. Also, when buying a new battery, make sure that you get a battery with the same cold cranking amps as your current battery or the original equipment manufacturer's battery. If not, get one with a higher CCA rating so that way you know that your car will start when it's needed to. To test for the cold cranking amps, you need a special meter. If you don't have one of those meters, I'm gonna show you how to check with your multimeter how, what the life of your battery is going to be like. Remember, if you find this video helpful, make sure you share it with your friends and family so that way they can uh, get a bit of benefit out of making sure their battery is okay before they go on holidays and whatnot. So what I'm going to do is, I know my battery is um, in good health because it's a relatively new battery. Uh, I'm going to show you the voltage that I should get. I am reckon I'm going to get about 12.6 volts out of it. It's not under charge, it's not under load, it's, it's going to be okay. So now I'm just going to check the battery. I'm getting about 12.59. I didn't test it before I started filming this, so that tells me that my battery hasn't dropped off at all. What I'm gonna do now is put the ignition on. Um, I'm not gonna start the car, but I'm also gonna put the high beams on, so that way I can uh, add a load to the battery and see if the battery's gonna drop voltage. So you can see now that I've got the high beams on, the car radio's on, um, but the car's not started that my battery voltage has dropped down to 11.8 volts. It's only dropped, you know, not even a whole volt. So that tells me that my battery's still good. If you were to do this and your battery dropped down to something like, I don't know, 7 or 8 volts, maybe even 6 volts, that would be tell you that your, your battery isn't holding the amps that it requires. So that's one way to load test your battery. Um, to see if it's able to hold the amps because you need the, those amps to really turn over the motor Let's say that your batteries dropped down to say six seven volts and You know that the battery is not that old what you can do is you can check your alternator output 
to make sure that your alternator is actually working because if your alternator is not working your battery won't charge uh, I'm now going to show you how to check the alternator output uh, if your alternator is not outputting it's not going to charge your battery and it's going to let your battery die so you will see those six or eight volts so if you can start your car start it and you should see something around about 14 volts uh, that should be charging your battery if your alternator is working properly so you can see now that I've turned on the car that my voltage has spiked to 14.2 volts, roughly. Um, this tells me that my alternator is putting out. Uh, some cars have smart chargers, so if your battery's at reached the maximum charge voltage, it'll actually turn off the alternator, so that way uh, it doesn't overcharge your battery. Uh, if, if my alternator wasn't working, well then you'd see it would still sitting, be sitting around the 6 or 8 volts. And that would tell me that I need to change my alternator before I charge uh, before I change my battery. Remember, if you enjoy this video, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, uh, the video, and make sure you hit the bell if you subscribe, so that way you get notified of my other videos. I'm now going to give you some tips on how to maintain your battery and things to watch for over time to make sure you've got good battery health and that you can change it before the battery completely dies. So the first thing you want to check is the terminals. Sometimes you'll see over time that there's a blue powder that builds up around the terminals. What this is is electrolysis. The reason why you get it for is uh, because there's different metals that connect and there's because of the electricity that's there, there's static that builds up and it causes corrosion. It's the same as rust, but for electrical properties. What you want to do is take the lug off Use a bit of emery paper, uh, wipe it around the inside of the lug, clean up the terminal, spray it with contact cleaner to wash away any corrosion that may be there. Put the ring lug back on, tighten it up, and spray it with battery terminal protector. This will prevent uh, further corrosion. It won't stop it, but it will prevent it. When you put a new battery in, write down the date. So that way you know how long the battery's been in for, when it gets to the four or five year mark, if your battery hasn't worn out by then, um, keep a closer eye on it because it could be coming up to its time it's wearing out. So you want to do its load test and um, check things like that. But periodical maintenance, you this is a maintenance free battery, but if you have the caps that you can access the, the batteries, take them off um, every now and again, every couple of months, um, two or three months and check the water levels. Make sure the plates are covered inside. You don't need to fill them up completely, um, but there should be a level line inside that you can see and top them up with distilled water to stop further corrosion inside the battery. As the battery starts to break down, you might also notice that the sides of the battery walls start expanding. Uh, this is known as a bulging battery. Uh, this can be quite bad, because if you have a lead acid battery, uh, if it expands too much, it might break the sides of the battery and you'll find that the liquid inside the battery can go th uh, drop out through the bottom and cause you some all kinds of dramas. Uh, and your car won't be moving anywhere until you get a new battery. So just definitely watch out for the bulging battery. Besides that, make sure that your battery is clean. Uh, there's no buildup of contaminants around. Uh, your battery's not bulging. The date's on there. Uh, your voltage is correct under load. Uh, just the general condition is all good. I hope you enjoyed watching this video.